So next we have Ruby, and Ruby is a, a graduate student, and she's a, she majors in uh, communications, and now she's going to share with us her experience with uh, interviewing Chinese students in Taiwan. Uh, hi everyone, uh, my name is Ruby Liu, and uh, today's uh, my topic is about the Chinese student in Taipei. Uh, Spring Dog uh, this year is the second year for the Chinese student to be open to apply for the formal degree, not Chinese student, but the formal degree in Taiwan. So, which means that I have a lot of classmates, uh, 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 school mates uh, that are from the mainland China. So, however, as a countless uh, precious student, I found the news always. Uh, made me uh, feel so disappointed and uh, so surprised from the news. And uh, for example, there is uh, from the Apple Daily, and uh, it, uh, the title is called Ridiculous. The student from Mainland China can uh, get a 20,000 scholarship. But actually, it's not true because it didn't die yet, but uh, because it hasn't decided to totally report it. So uh, I don't want to be not only a journalist, I want to be a detective. I don't want to, I want to know the truth. So I believe that not in the detention, no speech. So I want to know what the real China is. So as a communication student, I want to uh, to interview this student. So the China imagine uh, most of this for the media. So how about you? What is your image toward the China? Maybe maybe negative more than positive or positive than negative. So for me, I just uh, give some example for the bias against China because I just I because actually I want the uh, because for us we want the main China to know how good as the, the democracy is and we think that oh they don't have freedom so we need to save them because we didn't know we want to them know what is the uh, the precious freedom we got. So however, when I talk about uh, the this issue, and then I think that do that actually my classmates ask me, do you think your democracy is very good? Actually, I really got shocked because for so, uh, in th uh, the Taiwanese, I believe that the, uh, democracy is always good. How could you criticize uh, uh, democracy? So, and uh, so, it's, uh, uh, actually the title is from the BBC. Is Taiwanese democracy change Chinese student? Did you think so? Yes or no? Actually, it's, uh, I interviewed one of the uh, students and she said, the more I see, the more I feel confused uh, about the world of Taiwan's democracy. So why must we feel so confused? Because actually, they feel like they are the group with the limit, the democracy and the freedom. As you know, uh, they have a, a lot of limitation. They cannot apply the a part time job. They cannot be a teaching assistant in China. They have a lot of uh, uh, limitation. And also, they got a lot of bias from the media, or maybe some from some internet or friends had some negative comments on them. So here is the free restriction and the, and the six laws. But actually, as a student, as we know we are poor. We need money to follow our tuition. However, they cannot do any. Uh, uh, any help for our tuition, uh, for our for making money, so how do they survive? So, so they have this uh, kind of shock. So, why do you want to emphasize Taiwan and the China's difference? And uh, why the China, what they don't understand why the China, the Chinese student, taken as the foreign students, and uh, why always from the media, you are always uh, negative toward China and uh, the best. Why does the Taiwan let us come to Taiwan and then treat us un unfriendly? Because actually, we, before they come to Taiwan, we have a, a lot of dispute toward the, whether the Chinese student can come to Taiwan because we worry about that they will um, take our work opportunity and uh, they will just uh, let us, they will, I'm uh, sorry. And uh, also, also the most uh, confusing thing is that because they, uh, the former Chinese student, they said, we treat you as a family, but why do you take us the, uh, wait, sorry, we treat you as a family, but why do you treat us the enemy? As we know, because they think that oh, we are belong to the same ancestor, and also, what she know, you say, and we should be together, we are a family together. But however, from the friends or uh, from the negative, uh, we, they found that so many negative comments. So uh, the question is for everyone, also for the Taiwanese government, is Taiwan ready to welcome this Chinese student? 
the actually because we have a different standard for this Chinese student. For example, some school the tuition is uh, uh, for a uh, foreign student, but for maybe the dormitory is applied to a local student. So we have a different uh, standard for this, whether they are foreign student or whether they are local student. Also, it's a totally uh, big dispute. So right now is my conclusion, but also I mean the suggestion for this Chinese student in Taiwan. When you expose to the new culture, it's like touching a rose with bronze. Which means that when you see a fence, you always see the good side and the bad side. So don't let the bad side cover your good side. So that's my point. Thank you for your listening.